Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web10 Pro App App and as a part of Web10 Pro App App, we are covering Object Value Selector and in the previous videos, we simply return the logic in the phase 0 because we want to change the labels, so we took the help of phase 0. Then with the help of phase one, we provided that default value. If you do not want to change the label, there is no need to write the code. If you do not want to pass the default value, there is no need to write the logic. Now we will simply, simply proceed further and we will go for phase two now. Before going for phase two, we'll firstly see what we want to do. Suppose if I am running this particular Web10 Pro application. If I will go for test, I will log in. Whenever we will click here, yes, our logic will trigger, which we have written for OBS, OBS search help. Now you can see we have the phase zero. Yes, it will go for the labels. We have the phase one, it will provide the default value. Now you can see we have the default value. Now, whenever we will click on to the go button, you all know phase two will trigger because on the go button, what system will do? Based upon this date, it needs to fetch that data from which table? VBAK table. We want to fetch the data of how many column? Four column. Because in the selection list, in the list position, we want to display the data of four column. First one, your sales document number, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. So whenever we will click on to the go button, based upon this input, based upon this default value, we need to fetch that data from PBAK table. And you all know what is the purpose of phase two. The phase two is all about the selection logic. You are writing the logic into the phase two. Its purpose is to select that data. Now what we will do, we'll simply understand in that debugging mode because we need to get this particular value because after getting this value only, we can fetch the data from VBAK table. So we'll simply check in the debugging mode where we are getting this particular value and then we will write the code. Now, whenever I will go for go button, it will take me to the phase two. And we will see in the phase two, for in the SAP logic, where I am getting this particular value. Now you can see phase indicator is two. So it will simply go for this phase two. This is our phase two. Now it is clearly saying if phase one is implemented, yes, we implemented the phase one, then you need to use the field input for the selection of the table. Yes, we need to use this input as the selection of the table. We need to use this particular input. Now we will see where we have this particular input. If you are not implementing phase one, no problem. Then in that case, you simply has to fetch all the data from the BAK table. Yes. Now, if I will do F6, if I will do F6, if I will do F6, you can see SAP is simply assigning each and everything to this LS underscore query params. If I will double click here, in LS underscore query params, this is a field symbol because you all know whenever we are giving this in less than and greater than bracket, that is called as field symbol. In this field symbol, I have a column ER tag and there I am getting the value of this particular data. It means it based upon this where condition, based upon this where condition, I need to fetch the data from which particular table, PBAK table. Into this field symbol, if I will check the type of this field symbol, you can see this is the field symbol. 
you can see this field symbol is of type this particular structure and this structure has which particular column e and that at the initial level i told you this whole game is of these two structures only so ultimately into this field symbol er dat column i am simply getting the value of that date so i will fetch that data from bb ak table based upon this particular date now the question comes after fetching that data you will put that data into internal table now the question comes where you will what was what is the type of that internal table sap gave the logic we just see if i will go for the logic of phase 2 you can see sap has clearly written into this particular this field symbol er that column i am getting the value of that date i will simply fetch the data and you can see sap is setting the output table and what is the name of internal table ld underscore select underscore list now if you will check the type of this internal table this internal table is referring to this structure and you can see this structure has how many column four column this is what we want to do because this is our selection list or list position so simple simple we will write a select query to fetch the data from bb ak table based upon er dat and we will put that data into this particular internal table whenever data will come into this internal table you all know this internal table we are setting as a output so it will simply simply display in the selection table now we already covered we should never never write the logic into the web time pro component logic should be in the assistance class method so firstly i will write the logic in the assistance class method and then so we will simply simply call the method here now i can directly write a query also but that is not a good practice so it's a good that you should always always write the selection logic in the assistance class method so i will double click on to our web den pro component i will give some name to the web den pro component sorry i will give some name to the assistance class you can use already developed assistance class also no problem in that you can simply add one method suppose i am creating a new assistance class suppose i will write z assist underscore obs okay i will simply double click yes i want to create i will go for local object i will just go for double click yes you can you all know whenever you are creating from here itself in the properties tab this super class will come automatically and you can see super class methods are automatically appearing here now i will go for change now suppose i will give some method name suppose i am saying get underscore data now you can see here we have one more part now assistance class suppose it is a instance method and public method to get the data if you want more clarity just refer the videos of assistance class in the same playlist now what will be the input and output parameters for this particular method input will be your date yes because we want to fetch the data based upon date date and what will be the output output will be of four column your sales of sales document number sales organization distribution channel and division and output is a internal table you why we are going for internal table because we want to bind the internal table only if you see in the methods tab when i showed you the logic in the phase 2 that is a internal table if i will go for methods that is our internal table 
that is our internal table of four column. It means we need to take a output of internal table which has four column. So I will go for this assistance class. Firstly, I will go for input. We are going for single value of date. It means I need to take a parameter. P E R that. It is our importing input. And what is the data element for the date? E R that. Now, now our output will be a internal table of four column. If you want a internal table of four column, it means you need to create a structure of four column. Here, I cannot create a structure using type statement. Can I write a code here? I cannot write a code here. It means I need to create a global structure of four column. Everywhere we are using the same concept. So I will write, I'll just create a structure, ZSTR underscore, suppose OBS. I will go for create structure. I will give that description, structure. What will be first column? VBELN. Second will be VKORG. VTWEG SPART because we cannot create a structure through coding. So I am creating a structure through SCE lab. It is our data element. We can simply copy from VBAK table also. I remember, so I am directly passing it. VTWEG SPART. I am activating the structure. Now we will simply simply take this structure. Now, if I will write here, suppose T output, it is our exporting. Now here I cannot go for type table of suppose if I am writing type table of structure name, how we are making internal table internal table type table of structure if i am going type table of system is not accepting type table of if system is not accepting type table of you need to go for table type so i will simply create a table type to sc11 itself i will just put t create table type I will write table. I will pass the name of the structure. I'm activating the table type. Now I will use this table type. I'm removing table of and I'm passing the name of table. Type. So this is internal table type table type. Now I will write the code. I will double click on to the method. Now I will write the logic. I will write select. Now what is the first column? VBELN, VKORG, VTWEG, SPART. We want to fetch from which table? VBAK table. We want to store into internal table. What is the name of internal table? T output because that is our output parameter. Output internal table of four column. Where? What is the where condition? ER that is equal to PER that. So based upon that date, it will fetch that data of four column and data will come into this internal table. I will check the syntax, syntactically correct. I will just activate the class. Now I will activate the Web10 Pro component also. I'll simply go to display mode, right click because there are so many parts. So I'm activating. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, 
we are now going to for implementation of phase two. But phase two is phase two purpose is to just fetch that data to select that data. Now, what we are doing based upon that default value, we want to fetch the data from BBAK table. So firstly, we need to check where we have the value of that date. So when we saw in the debugging mode into this field symbol, we are simply simple into this field symbol, ER that column, we are getting the value of that date. Now, after that, we have did the documentation also. If we have implemented phase one, then we need to fetch the data based upon that input only. Yes, we implemented it. That's why we are fetching the data based upon that input only. If we are, have not implemented phase one, then anyways, we need to fetch all the data. After that, what we have done, we have simply saw whatever the data is coming, we need to take into this internal table. Because SAP ultimately setting this internal table as output table. And this is an internal table of four column. Now we need to write the query. Now it is best practice never write the logic in the WebDen Pro, Web Pro component directly. You should always write the logic in the assistance class. So we created the assistance class. Whenever you are clicking the, creating the assistance class from here itself, the super class came automatically methods two methods came automatically we simply created the method for that method input will be date and output will be internal table here i cannot create a structure through types so i created the global structure here i cannot go for type table of so i created the table then i have written the logic into this method, I fetch the data and data is coming into this export internal table. You all know whenever you want to take the output, you need to pass that data to export. Now, in the next video, we'll simply call this method and we will see in the debugging mode, are we getting the data in the list position or we can say selection list or not. So that's it in this video. Thank you.